Hey guys, what's up? Richard here from Richard Tech and Games. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick little video review video of the ZTE Blade Z Max. Now this is a really nice device. Um, you have a 5.5 inch, uh, actually no, you have a 6 inch full HD display. You have a 4,050 milliamp battery. You got two gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage. You got a 1.4 gigahertz octa core processor. Then you have a dual camera setup. Now this is your single camera setup. Uh, sorry, my phone's dirty. Um, I have a case on it all the time, uh, which is this case from Metro PCS, which I will do a quick little review of after this video. Um, you got a textured back. You got a fingerprint sensor, which is super fast. Then you have your front-facing flash. Now, the textured back is like a rubbery plastic feel. It's really nice in the hand. Um, however, it does tend to feel, feel really slippery. So, um, you got your navigation buttons on the bottom of the screen. You do have video calling. So, when you call someone, uh, do not mean to call. So you have Wi-Fi calling, so that allows you to call people. Uh, you do have the video call option, so if you type in someone's phone number, uh, I don't even know whose number that is, and if you press call, this will light up green, just like this. Uh, you can video call them. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any number to try that out on, so I'll probably get it to a review on that later. Now, you do have the auto-rotate, which is pretty cool. Uh, a lot of devices don't have this feature. Um, my battery is at 17%, but I haven't charged it since yesterday, m around about 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. my time. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I have been using it a lot. I've been watching Netflix and Showbox and all that. So... When you get into it, you got your classic. I do have some games on it to test out the battery life. Minecraft is a very big battery life killer, as we all know. It tends to kill batteries faster than uh, watching or doing any other thing on your phone. It also tends to not load right. Um, there's my gamer tag if you guys want to add me. Sometimes I play online, sometimes I don't. Um, I've, I've just been messing around with it for the last, like, probably, like, three hours total. Um, been blowing stuff up and everything. So, yeah. Let's go place it. TNT. <laughs> Alright, and then, um, audio levels, as in audio-wise... You got a really nice speaker. It is quite quiet. It's pretty quiet. Um, but you do have Dolby Audio, which is really cool. Now you have it for different modes. Game, voice, music. You have the movie. Um, I tend to use movie a lot. Let's go ahead and turn up the volume. Let's play the demo. Okay. It is casting to my TV. So you can, um, it does have Chromecast enabled, so you can cast everything to your TV screen. Go ahead and disconnect, then you want to come back. Now this phone is huge, so I have to use two phones, or two hands. So that's the little test video that they have. Um, it's it's really nice. It sounds good. Uh, let's go ahead and find a thing. Let me set up my tripod correctly. 
as my tripod is deciding not to work, it's only got one leg left. <laughs> it fell apart, so I'll be returning it soon. I'm not going to waste your guys' time in doing a review on it when it doesn't even work in the first place. So if we go to music, uh... This is G-O-M-D by J. Cole and Logic, so. Some ACDC. I got random songs. I have random songs on here to test out, um, like, different audio levels and all that, which is pretty cool. Um, got some Russ. Russ is really good. If you guys don't know who he is, go check him out. So if we go into camera now, as you can see, takes pretty good uh, photos. Now it does have monochrome, which is really cool. This is a really cool feature. So as you can see, it's pulling out all the blue. If we go to purple you'll start to see the metro pcs box coming out but if you go all the way down to blue you'll see that it starts to take out other colors if you go back so you want to go here red As you can see i got nothing red here besides that light right there uh go back go to green Still nothing, no green, no green anywhere, but on the back of this box. You can see. Now the battery does, um, I used up 2% battery just on this video, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Let you guys uh, make your own conclusions. Uh, my conclusion is this is for $130. Uh, $30 if you pour it into Metro PCS. Um, it's a really good device. It's a still, to be honest. Um, if you have the money to do it, uh, buy it or wait till you have an upgrade. Um, it's $30. I'll pour it in again. It's a really good device and everything. Uh, really nice. So here's a quick little review of the case. Uh, this is the case from Metro PCS. This is just their slim little TPU uh, drop case. Now, it is a plastic finish. It picks up. It really picks up fingerprints. So, as you can see, it'll start picking up fingerprints. This part in the middle, the light blue all around, is like a plastic, like a matte plastic. This is a glossy plastic finish. Inside, glossy plastic finish again. Um, you have the fingerprint uh, sensor holder, so just put it on. Just pop the phone in it. Sometimes it'll go on the bottom, sometimes it doesn't. You gotta like force it in a little. Um, but it, it kind of reminds me of an iPhone. So if this reminds you of an iPhone, uh, let me know in the comments. Down below, since the iPhone 7 has the dual camera setup, and it has the Apple logo here, but instead it's the fingerprint sensor. So, let me know what you guys think about this device down below. Also, let me know if you guys are going to be looking forward to it. Um, also, the Alcatel uh, A... I'm not going to do the name of it, but it's the phone currently on Metro PCS. Um, you get a free couple months free on the Amazon Music. Now, that's a really good device, too. I've seen it in-store. 
Um, I don't care for it because I don't care for Alcatel so much since I've had bad experiences with their phones. Um, but it's a good phone for the money you're going to be paying for. It's only 80 bucks. Um, I will be seeing about getting my hands on with the iPhone, the new iPhone X and the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. So definitely be looking forward to that. Also, I may be getting my hands on a Gal Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Not 100% sure on that yet. So definitely keep an eye out for that. But peace out. See you guys next time.